Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and in today's video, let's see how we can um, add edit functionality to um, users, okay? So right now, we're already on the users page and um, you click on edit, it says that you requested URL was not found on this server, okay? So what we want to do is we want to um, create a page called edit.php .php and then let's um, copy all the contents of what's inside of add.php because it's a uh, similar functionality okay but here instead of just um, blocking the page what we want to do is we want to um, get a user so let's say user we want to get the user that we're editing so let's say get user and then we're going to pass in um, dollar underscore get id okay to that function so for the values um, of this input field let's just do value equal to open a php tag there say echo user and then um try to be user and we're gonna um just echo the username okay so let's just copy that quickly value come to this one here just paste that so change that to first name and let's just come to this last one here last name and change this to last name because that's what the column is named in the database so let's change this to um, update user and then let's um, change the action to process edit okay so we're gonna create um, a file here called process edit dot php and in there we're gonna need to um, just do the required statements like we did for um, process add so let's copy that come to process add and copy um, the required statements at the top and then close it and then next let's say if edit user then what we want to do is we want to pass in an id first of the user we're editing and then the data for the user okay so post if we've edited the user successfully um, what we want to do is we want to say user get the user again get user and then pass in the id and then we want to say dollar underscore session we want to um, change the usernames to the newly updated user okay so let's say username equal to dollar underscore um actually not dollar underscore user it's the user we've gotten from the database username okay so then we relocate by using the header function location forward slash users forward slash edit dot php and then we're gonna pass it an id equal to id because we want to go back to that page that we're editing and um, yeah so that's pretty much it else if an error occurred we're still gonna relocate to the same page but we're gonna add in an extra query program for errors okay so we're gonna say and error equal to couldn't um, update user okay so now let's go ahead to our page here and let's click on edit we'll have an error because it says call to undefined function get user right so let's go to our functions.php and then implement those functions okay so if you notice get user and um, get page are similar so let's go over to the part where it says get page let's copy that function all of it we'll come down to the bottom here I'm going to paste it here so let's change this from select star from pages to select star from users where id equal to id so instead of get page let's say get user okay so i'm going to come to a browser now when i refresh now we can get that user as you can see we're getting the user that we're editing with the um, username first name and the last name okay so next um let's implement the edit user function because now if we say update user it says call to undefined function edit user okay so let's um come to the functions.php page here and then we're gonna scroll to the part where it says um edit um, page okay since it's similar functionality so edit page let's come here i'm going to copy this edit page come right to the bottom here let's paste it let's change it to edit user and then says update pay users um, set first name or set username equal to username 
set first name to first name let's just push this to the bottom so it looks nice set publish let's just change that to last name to last name okay where id go to id under data um let's change this title here to have uh, username let's change this body to um first name and then finally let's change this to uh, last name okay so that's pretty much it so now let's come here let's go back let's try to edit this user here so um let's say lamin um two now let's do an update update user as you can see it did not update that user all right so let's see what the problem is so the problem is that we are not passing the id when we are submitting the form okay so let's come to edit.php here we needed to create a input here with a type hidden and um, the value would be the id of this user okay so we're going to need to do echo user id okay so we refresh that now when i click on edit and i do change this to lamin2 we have edited that user but still the id isn't being passed in because the name here should be id okay so back refresh lamin2 one more time everything works fine it should be passed so let's do some debugging because uh, we did change this name to be id and the value to be the user id here so let's come here refresh okay so um, let's inspect this dumb element here so input hidden value equals to one so let me submit that let's come to network here let's check the submitted post and see what's being submitted okay so obviously the id is being submitted username first name last name but for some reason the id isn't being um, put here in the link so that has to do with the process edit here we are trying to link to id but we did not get the id so we have to say id equals to dollar underscore post id okay so let's come back here and then let's go back refresh let's try to update that so update user now the user has been updated when i come to the users list here we have lamin sane but when we come to update lamin sane the username will be um lamin2 okay so let's change this first name to um john green okay so update user now when i come to users list here we have john green as that user okay so i can log out and try to log in with lamin2 uh, lamin1 will not log me in now anymore i say my password enter it says username or password is invalid so let's do lamin2 say my password login and as you can see now we're logged in with that user okay so um that brings us to the end of this video wherein we added um edit functionality for the user's um account and i thank you for watching i will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye